welcome back to another video let's just get straight to it i have three clips in my hair because i have three thinning locks and i am going to try to fix it today so i always knew that i had this thinning lock it didn't really bother me at first because i feel like okay like i don't have a lot there's not multiple thinning locks so it's kind of not really that big of a deal right now well i thought wrong because when i was in here trying to fix this one i noticed that i had this one right here and i have another one and they're all in the same area on my head that bothers me because it's all in the front it's not the locks closest to my edges but it's the locks a couple of rows behind the locks that are closest to my edges so as you can imagine my spirits was bothered when i noticed that i had three and honestly at this rate it could be more i don't know but i just noticed these three right here so i've been doing some research and also reading some of y'all's comments on my past couple of videos whenever i mentioned that i did have a lock that was thinning out and i was asking y'all's advice on how to fix it most of y'all just said oh girl you can just interlock that it's not a big deal well i started watching some youtube videos pertaining to trying to fix thinning locks and most of the videos that I watched that had like the same amount of thinning as mine it was like traditional size locks and most of those people didn't interlock it they just took some connect long hair and twisted it in the middle of their head and kind of like palm rolled it and sealed it so that it would stay I don't have that option because a I don't have any extra hair around my house at all because whenever I got locks I threw away all that stuff. All the connect line hair, all the braiding hair, it's gone. I don't have it anymore. And I'm not about to go get some right now. My second problem that I found was that I couldn't find anybody with micro locks even that had this amount of thinning. I don't know. I just couldn't find anybody with my lock count that had this problem. And like I said, most of the other videos, they just took extra hair and like twisted it in. So I guess we'll just try to interlock it. I don't know. I've been looking at it and I feel like... Maybe not so much with this one, but with these two, the thinning is so severe that I don't even know if I can interlock that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to try to make a little opening right here, I guess. But just so that you can see, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's super normal at the top. And then it thins out tremendously right here. And then it goes back to normal down here. So I'm just going to try to make a little space so that I can have enough room to put the bottom portion of the lock through it. I'm just going to use this lock tool that I've been using. Oh no! I just dropped my tool down the drain. Okay. And from my understanding, I just push it through there. I feel like this isn't doing anything. <laughs> This makes me really nervous because this is literally so thin y'all I don't even know if y'all can see how thin it is but I can probably count how many strands of hair this is Okay, now I just made a knot. Oh wait, no, maybe not. Okay, I don't know, it looks a little bit better. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this one alone. I just clipped that last one back to the side and I'm just gonna do this one now. This one is like a little bit better. It's not as bad because 
the little loose hairs is just like this little section right here and I can see a little bit better. This one is a little bit easier to do. And now for this one. This one is the worst in my opinion. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's literally thin from here to here. So, okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm sorry if y'all can't really see, but I'm just regularly interlocking it. Okay, so this one I'm really worried about because I can't even interlock it in certain areas. Even though it looks like loose hair and it's really thin, they're like really stuck together. And if I try to put my tool through there, then I'll be ripping it. And I don't know if I should be doing that. Like, should I just leave it alone? I don't even need to pin it. So I'm just gonna stop right here for now and I'm gonna have my mom look at it because she has successfully repaired a couple of her locks. I just don't wanna make anything worse than what it is. Today's video was not a tutorial. I was just literally just popped the camera on and tried to fix some of my locks. I just thought that I would document it for y'all so that you can watch. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll talk to y'all in my next one and I'm out. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong.